Hold on, hold on. What the f is going on? Here? <laughs> uh, what? Yo, the, my man, the Granite Warrior is here. What the hell? Yo, it's his posses. That must be the ringleader, bro. I mean, I'll leave them alone, man. I definitely cannot compete with them in this world. Mm -mm. Holy, okay, okay. Um, we just got ourselves curb bone uh, number four. Number four. So, let's get a very rough estimate here of just how many monster giants we've killed. So let's just say here we've gotten 157 KC and uh, I'm assuming 150 of the keys are from regular monster giants, right? So let's times up by 150 each. What are we getting? 22,500. I'm 100% certain I've killed over 20,000 monster giants. All right, so unfortunately we are just not lucky enough at this nature stuff grind. And now I have to resort to actually making the cannonballs. Just killing corp just isn't fast enough. I got supplies. Now, I'm smithing at a new place. With the release of Elf City, the best place now to smith cannonballs is actually at Elf City on the southeastern side, no longer Edgeville. So this is cool. I'm gonna be here for a while, you know? This is gonna be a new scenery for quite a bit. Uh, oh, oh, Crystal Imp, bruh, I just found a Crystal Imp. Oh, I got 93 rune darts. <laughs> the first crystal imp. Nice. So the new crystal imps only spawn in Elf City. They spawn in certain spots. So where I am smithing is one of their spots. They do have some decent loot. And their main signature item is the Elven Signet. It's a ring that if you put it on, any crystal items like crystal bow or some of the new stuff like the crystal uh, pickaxe, they all do degrade, so if you wear the ring, it'll lower the rate at which they degrade, so you don't have to use as much shards. So this item isn't like a major goal or anything, but because, you know, I'm already smithing here anyways, if I do see them, I'll catch them. If I get the ring, that's cool. If not, it, it's whatever, you know? This is just a side thing, if anything. Alright, 158. Moss Giant Boss KC. I got 15 keys, so that's gonna be at least 170 plus kills. Alright, here we go. Maybe, maybe it spin this time, you know? Maybe it spins better. Oh my god, okay. Alright, we're ending it at the semi-meme number. Okay! Time to get 10 more keys, you know, and try to do it again tomorrow. Give me a boss test, please. Yes! Greater Demons, let's go. Sammy boss, I haven't done that boss in forever. I think I'm at like... 2,000 KC? Yeah, not even halfway to the pit, but something to look forward to. Uh, I think it's a good time to start now, honestly. I need a break from the freaking Moss Shang grind, honestly. Uh, one of the great things about doing any God Wars related grind is that the ecumenical keys, uh, they no longer have cooldowns when you get them. So you can just stay in one world, get a key, don't have to hop or anything, don't have to wait two minutes or anything, which is really, really awesome. I love that. And another thing they did is they made the keys a flat rate of 1 in 60. Before it was like for every successive key, the drop rate would get worse and worse. But now it's just a flat 1 in 60 rate. So I really like that. You know, I, I feel like that stuff was just pretty dumb. You know, it was unnecessary for sure. And it just was very artificially just added to be annoying. So don't gotta deal with that. I'm just gonna grab some keys just in case I die as Zami or something, you know. Quick uh, retrieval. Well, mainly I'm gonna use it for Armadale, but yeah, I should be expecting some Armadale tasks as well. All right, it's been a while since I've done any uh, Zami Godwars, but same setup for the most part. I'm gonna bring Ferocious though, just uh, to spice things up. Probably gonna have to take this off though when I'm barraging, just because this thing has insane negative magic. Like, it's like 15 or something. It's pretty bad. But yeah, it should be all right. It's good. Oh, I just hit 2100 KC. Some will redeem myself. A steam battle staff, okay. First uh, significant unique drop, I guess. So far this trip, this task. Keep accidentally clicking on the melee guy. Oh, some Rakian Spear, nice. Anyways, finish the Zami task. Only took like three hours really to uh, get 70 boss kills. So yeah, I was averaging like 20-ish kills a an hour so yeah that's really good already kind of back into the flow so 
Oh shit, 161 gargoyles, okay, that's good. Grotesque Guardians, you know, we're chilling. Might need some more uh, granite dust, you know, for my cannonballs. Not really, I got like 80k, but... 2500 KC though, man. That's a pretty big monster. Holy crap, bad to bad monster keys. Oh, god. Yes. Okay, we are probably around two weeks into the Moss Chan grind here. 184 KC, I have another 12 keys to use today. Alright, last kill boys, all or nothing. All or nothing, nope, nothing. Got him, alright, cool. How much food I had, seven? Damn, four minute fight, okay, it honestly felt like five minutes. Oh, there it is, nice bro, just got my fourth uh, armor crystal seed, damn, let's go. Alright, man, that's sick. So that's my... That's not my third one. That's my third one from uh, the uh, Gauntlet, Corrupted version. So right now it's like 1 in 40 right for me, dude. Hell yeah, just need two more and I'm fully uh, done with the Crystal Armor Seeds, dude. Hell yeah. The amount of effort that you have to put into the Corrupted version, it, it justifies it, for sure. Wait, what? So what happens? Do I, do I still get the drop? Alright, let me see if I can still get my stuff. Oh, I did get my stuff. I just couldn't see what it was. I think it was Myth Arrows. Alright, here's the spoils of today. It's 10kc of Corrupt Gauntlet. The big boy armor crystal uh, coming in at basically half of the value at 1.4 mil. Alright, um, to start off the day, we got a Curbone drop. Alrighty then, um, number six or number five? What, what is it? I don't even know. Nice, I actually do hit a 42. So it's pretty fair to say that Slash is, uh, I think it's aggressive, right? Yeah. You can actually get one max hit. So definitely uh, worthwhile to be on Slash for the uh, heli. Otherwise, you only hit a 41. This is like the most ideal start. I get all my... Or I get all my barks, get a weapon base, I find a boss. That's like optimal start. And then maybe I'll get like some cotton or maybe I'll get three food, basically. Bro, just kill it, dude. Dude, this is it's probably the fastest fight ever. Let's see what the time is. 248. Okay, that was even faster than the one I just had before. What? I just got six room play bodies. Oh. <laughs> I got three room play body drops. Nice. <clears throat> Onyx bolts. Holy crap, man. Oh boy, we are just making. So we're getting so much money from uh, Corp. Let's see what my Onyx bolt collection is looking like nowadays. Oh yeah, we are at uh, 14.6, man. <clears throat> Oh, yes, there we go, man. First kill of the day, I get some cannonballs, bro. Exactly what I needed, because I have basically no cannonballs left. I couldn't even get my 10 keys today. I had to, like, leave at 9 because I, I ran off cannonballs. Yeah, holy crap. This is such a fast kill. I still have a minute and uh, 30 seconds left on the... On the freaking uh, Divine Super Combat. That's insane. This core fight lasted, like... Three minutes and like maybe 10 seconds. Dang it. I want some more cannonballs, but 100 more KC to go though. And then I hit 2000. Check. Alright. 196 Brow Fighters. God damn it, dude. Day I forgot. So let's go for 200 KC. All in for the win. Last one, boys. Headbang for the drop. What? A dwarf weed? Oh man, okay. Alright, well it's a good thing I got a 4,000 cannonballs from Corp today. <laughs> I can probably get another 10 keys from that, so. Alright guys, so we're like two plus weeks into the Moss Shine grind, and honestly, I'm ready to just be done with this grind. So, I'm gonna amp up the speed of which we kill the Moss Shine. I'm gonna use my scythe. I got a lot of blood runes like 300k or something, so we're chilling, honestly, I don't use the side nearly enough, anyways, 
Holy shit, okay. So, I noticed that the scythe only hits twice on the moss giants, I guess they're 2x2, two two, but it can actually hit another moss giant because if they're next to each other, the scythe can actually just uh, swing that extra missing third hit onto another moss giant. So, occasionally I'll still be able to maximize my hits, which is really cool. But as you can see, look, it just hit that other moss giant as well, right there. So, that's really cool. Alright guys, so I was slightly surprised that, I'll show you, that the kills per hour with the scythe really isn't doing much more than with the rapier. So I think the biggest problem is that the scythe isn't able to do 3 hits per moss giant. Only occasionally when 2 of them are next to each other can I utilize the, you know all 3 hits. So unfortunately, I'm still getting about the same kills per hour. So there is literally no point in using the scythe here. Just because, yeah, I've used it over a thousand charges this hour and I'm not getting any more kills. So yeah, definitely switching back to the rape here, but I guess... Oh, there we go. That's a good task. 55 black dragons. That's a, that's a really good task. I haven't done these in a long time. 55 king black dragons. I'll save that for tomorrow. Alright, about to head over for the KVD task, so first time I'm going to use Lance. I usually use Crossbow, but I want to try out the Lance. Uh, four items I'm protecting. Well, the first three is Lance, Torture, Slayer Helm, and uh, Protect item, keep the Ferocious Gloves. Everything else, I don't really care if I die with them and lose it. I'm going to Slaughter Bracelet the task, actually. Trying to get a bit more out of the task. Oh, baby, next kill is going to be... Oh, this is the kill, what am I saying? This is the 1000. Okay, see, we reached uh, quadruple digits for this boss. Very slowly, but surely we did. So I tried the Lance, and unfortunately, the Dragon Hunter Crossbow is a lot better. Just because with Rag Gear, I can still pop off 60s and 70s with my crossbow. And that means if I'm doing one attack for one of its hits, that means I can kill KVD in less amount of damage that he hits me with. So yeah, it's just a lot better. But the Lance is still pretty OP though. Nothing unfortunately, but it was a good task. I got like uh, 70 something kills with the Bracelet of Slaughter perk, so that's quite nice. Yeah, this is it. Number 4000. God damn, boys. This is the big fat 4000. For some Snapdragons, I'll take it. Damn, officially 1,000 over the rate, huh? Crazy. Oh, yes! That's amazing, bro. First kill of the day. I got my fifth crystal armor seed. Yes! That's awesome, bro. I, I am very happy with that. I just need one more seed. One more seed, and I can create uh, the crystal armor. All of it. The body, and then I have the full set. Yeah. Alright, I have a good feeling. I have a great feeling about today. 214 of these suckers. I have 17 keys. Last key. Oh, fuck, man. Please. Oh, my God, dude. That wasn't even... That was... Oh, my... What is this drop, dude? Oh my lord. <laughs> oh yes. My favorite drop right now, dude. 2,000 cannonballs. Let's go. Yay. That's awesome, man. Still brings a smile to my face. Let's go. God damn, it's that Von Ballen guy, bro. He's still grinding. Alright, well, I gotta fucking give him my respect and let him have this world. Because, yeah, man. Gotta let the man do his thing. Why do mine? Oh my god, I just got a shield left half from last chance. Wow, shield left half, first one in uh, 35,000 kills. Today I'm going all in, dude, just most chance all freaking day. Make cannonballs, kill most shine bosses, and hope for the best. <laughs> 279 KC, I, I might reach 300 today. So I got 5 keys left, and I'm gonna save 100 cannonballs for a uh, corp or something. And I'm going to make a video tonight, no matter what happens with these last five keys. Uh, the reason why is because it's already been like over 10 days and 
I will be officially over 300 KCM, the real fighter boss, which I think is a good, at least video point, you know, I don't want to make you guys wait any longer, so let's do it. Last five keys. Officially last kill of this video, so here we go. So, the age-old question, guys. What KC do you think I am going to get the Brio Fighters Essence from the Nature Staff? Keep in mind, 1 in 118 is the drop rate, so we are uh, basically getting to that 3x rate. Um, eh, yeah, just just uh, in the comments, you know, leave me a number. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy. Alright, be gentle. Okay, thanks. So yeah, this is about 42,000 Moss Chance worth of kills, okay? I'm gonna scroll down and yeah, just uh, either be amazed or be disappointed, you know? Either way, it's crazy. Alright, here we go. Woo! Look at that. Oh my freaking... God damn, dude, that's insane. Five champion scrolls, 110 long bones, five curve bones. About 78 Snapdragons, maybe one from a Slayer Tash or something. <laughs> 413 Renard It's still shocking every time I look at this. Seven Torsos. These things are so rare. Dude, seven. And only f seven in 42,000, man. Absolutely ridiculous. And of course, the Dragon Shield left half that I got from the 42,000 Moss Chance. Jesus Christ. And how do I figure out how many cannonballs I've used so far to kill 42,000? Pretty easy. At the start of this grind, I have 50,000 cannonballs already. And I used them all up. And then I was able to track the rest using the granite dust. So I already had about 97,000 granite dust. Probably 100,000 because I did a grotesque guardian task. Which gave me more. So now I'm at 44,000 granite dust. So that means I've used about 56,000 granite dust. So that means another 56,000 cannonballs. So I've used about 106,000 cannonballs to kill about 42,000 Moss Chats. I want to spend a moment to talk about my French chat under this character's name, Mr. Iron Bar. It's open 24-7, already a pretty active community with really cool and, of course, nice people. And also, if you want to keep up to date with videos from this channel, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy this episode. Next few videos, I hope to have 2000 Corp done. I think that's where I'm probably going to take a break. I want to finish the last Crystal Armor seed so I can use the Crystal Armor at different content. I'm really excited to do that. And of course, get the Nature Stab. So I hope to see you guys in the next episode with some of these completed. Take care and bye-bye.